Welcome back. Let's take a look at the quiz problem uh, from our games from last time. Or from my game from last time. Figure out what I've done wrong, and then we'll play some games. How's that for a plan? So we get these quiz problems whenever I make a big enough mistake and my opponent analyzes the game, or somehow the game gets analyzed, and this quiz gets generated. So it's a question of, well, one of these moves got played in the game, the other move is the correct move. Um, now I remember playing Pawn 7-5, because I wanted to chase down this knight. Um, so... That would seem to indicate that pawn 6-5, activating my bishop, is the reasonable thing to do here. I could be misremembering this. Um, but, wait, hang on. I was playing the other side in this position, with my rook flanked this way. So we're actually looking at a problem from my opponent's perspective. Am I... Or I'm just confusing my games, but this shape looks familiar. But then this bishop trapped looks like their bishop. Yeah, well, that was weird. I played some similar games recently, and some turned out better than others. But yeah, pushing on the bishop's head exposed this bishop's only weakness, which was really, really dangerous much safer, and I think in this case much more successful, would just be attacking here directly. Um, Alright. So, this attack does not actually win. Yeah, it's still level. Here, trying to win the knight actually does profit. Hmm. Curious. So the knight is completely trapped and even though eventually they could push on my bishop's head my bishop can just retreat safely here I'm confusing this with a different game where my bishop had no safe retreat and our opponent was attacking much more strongly um, but yeah this I just win the knight as the conclusion and then this silver and rook are unable to penetrate on the center file and so they have to castle, and my position's good. All right. Well, that's our warm-up. Will we do better in the actual games? Let's find out. Here we go. Exchanging the Rook Pawn has three advantages. Now, chess players know the Rook Pawn is the one on the edge of the board. In Shogi... Uh, the Rook Pawn is the one in front of the Rook, where it's initially placed. Good luck. So exchanging the Pawn in front of the Rook is advantageous in... Okay. Uh, let's play this an interesting way. Our opponent wants a fight. We'll give him a fight. Sure. Um, I thought I had this covered. Do I not? Wow. Well, we're off to the races already. Um... I chase your rook and promote right in front of your king. This seems risky. Alright, so I'm attacking the rook and I'm attacking the snipe. So anyway, <laughs> promoting the... Uh, well, I'm not going to get to explain that for this game, am I? There's too much going on. Um, I 
I don't like that rook where it's currently located. And maybe I'm tempting fate with my move. I don't know. Um... But yeah, one advantage is that you have the pawn in hand, uh, but there are other advantages as well. Nanafun. What a violent game. Oh, okay, yeah, I should have anticipated this. Maybe I did anticipate it. Maybe I'm responding appropriately, but that's scary. Gofun. There, formed some sort of castle.
and this begins the train of pieces into their castle. Um, Mm. 2 分30秒。2分。1分30秒。So I'm protecting against this dragon promotion.
1分うん30秒。So here I've played my rook to the center file. Um, let's move the king once more and see if they do the same. They don't. Um, hmm. So in this position, this is different than other positions we've played. I have time for this. And then I can bring the knight out. So, yeah, they do push this, and rightly so. Um, but here our rooks are locked on this file. This is interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah, we could do this now after my games, or we could do it um, um, whenever. Yeah, 22 UTC is... Let's see. Subtract the 5 gets me to 17, which is 5 p.m. I could do that also. Um, all right, so... This is curious. Here they're... The silver advance would be scary, but my knight cuts it off. Um, and they could push this pawn, but this knight's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, I've played one game here. I'll play a couple more. This might take like a half hour or so, but we could play um, pretty soon. I need my warm-up in. <laughs> um... So, also, this if I had any prep, maybe this gives it away. But I don't think that I have any prep. Um, I don't know. Maybe I do. Um, so if I do knight takes, I get a silver. If I do silver takes, I also get a silver. Um, this silver here would be surrounded by a knight. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, 22 is probably best. Um, yeah. Only because they'll let us allow... They'll give us time to watch uh, Shogi Sunday first. And give me time to prepare something. I don't know. What should I prepare, I wonder. Um... There's so much to learn, so much to do. Alright, do I want a knight exchange? Well, they're going to drop a silver here if I don't. But maybe that's not the end of the world. Um, hmm. Silver drop, rook up. Silver retreats, promotes... Yeah, this is kind of fun. All right, let's see the tactic I missed. All right, have a good one. Hunt for interest sake. Got something up for the observers. Um, back we go. So I think they were planning the silver drop here. Um, not to say that's bad or anything. <clears throat> it's just supposing I correctly predicted my opponent's plan, and maybe I didn't. Um, that puts me in a better position to come up with my own plan. Oh, I could take this pawn. Check that out. That looks fun. This looks exciting because they've not castled yet, and I have castled. Um, sure, they can trap my bishop, but I think this is okay. This is pretty wild. Oh, I guess they had this fork, too. The fork might have been much more effectual. Um, Alright, so I attack your rook. Somehow I thought I already had the silver. I thought if I already had it, the tactics would be so much better, but I don't have it yet. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm kind of forced to take this. Um, I don't have a tempo to spare on just a completely free move. And the reason I'm forced to is because this is hanging. I did see this fork, that they might not promote that, but um, that didn't stop me.
All right, so this silver is surrounded. This rook is not yet surrounded, but pretty damn close. And my castle's being torn apart. But uh, they have not used this bishop, and they're not using that one yet. So maybe it's fine. Once they attack my rook, I guess it moves to the center and tries to channel some sort of an attack. But until then, uh, we try to make the best of the remainder of our pieces. Um, hmm. I keep looking at variations and not seeing a complete win of the rook. Um, that's probably a bad omen. Yes, there's our proverb. In the end game, speed is more important than material. We're not in the end game yet, but we're approaching it. Alright, our opponent's thinking as much as we are. This is good. But yeah, it looks like the only way to activate my remaining pieces is to bring the rook to the center and push the center pawn. Like, pushing the third foul or seventh foul pawn doesn't seem to do too much. This pawn is one, two, three... That's a lot of moves away from having an effect. Alright. Meanwhile, that was threatening checkmate, so I have to capture that. And now all of my pieces are hanging. However, they do not have a knight. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that cuts off the path for my rook. Even before I've done anything with my rook. Um, still, there are inroads into this position. Maybe I should have aimed at this square instead of aiming at that one. But this seems defensible. This seems harder to defend. Alright, let's promote. Maybe promoting was too dangerous. Because uh, they can drop a bishop next to this now. Whereas if I'd left this unpromoted... Um, it's almost just as effective. In the long run, it might not matter. Okay. Well, it could matter now. Uh, I've got three pieces defending this square. Hang on, they trapped their rook. I could win that. <sighs> silver, silver, knight, gold, gold, rook. It does not win a piece, nor is it fast enough to overwhelm them. Um, trapping the rook seems like a waste of time, but what else can I do? I could promote this knight. Give him another piece to attack me. Um... What a mess. Alright, we'll try to find some freedom for my rook.
Yeah, there are a lot of concerns here, but this seems to cover many of them. Nifun. <laughs> Silver, 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 not that. Hmm. All right, here we go. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I really, really like a rook. I have a very strong pro rook bias. And maybe that is a problem. Well, I don't know. It's the piece that's easiest to understand, I think. So I expect them to take this silver. That's pretty amazing. I am riddled with indecision here. I expect them to move the gold. They might not. Um,
30秒20秒。X for the game。sharp stuff。two down。one to go。Good luck. Hmm. What to do? Let's try that. I still am a bit anxious about whether they're going to push this edge file pawn or not. Um, if they don't push it, that indi could indicate that they're planning to castle in the corner. Um, All right, with this gold having moved up, I'm going to assume they don't castle in the corner, but that could be a dangerous assumption. Um, okay, there's the relief. Um, all right, we can breathe easier now. Um... I wonder what other castle they might build.
Funnily enough, this gold move might be a mistake, even though it builds a beautiful shape. Uh, the Rook Retreat makes more sense than this, but then the Rook Retreat invites them to go back. Hmm. There's never a perfect answer, is there? Bishop, something is to defend this. Bishop pawn drop. I don't have time for this bishop move unless I'm sacking the silver for a pawn. Well, no. Bishop pawn drop, I take the pawn. Hmm. Alright. I'm tempting... Oh, shit. They can push this first. They've built a decent castle. I've built a decent castle. I got too anxious and played too quickly. Um, this pawn drop on 5-5 five five is, uh, quite important. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know, but. But, what, whether it happens or not could decide the game. I was so busy trying to evacuate my bishop, and maybe that's the right play. But, oh boy. Um, hmm. This blocks their knight. Well, I'm not going to unblock the knight, so you'll have to do that. Do I exchange rooks here? I don't think so. Nanafun. If I try to ex well, anything I try to do is going to run into firm resistance. Um. So let's offer it. It's something I couldn't prevent. So. I think this is the best I can do of it. Um, even though my uh, lance and knight are hanging, even the like if I brought the gold up, they still are going to drop a pawn and a silver and all that. So there's nothing lost by doing it this way. Um, this was inevitable. Hmm. If I drop here, they drop something there. It's not my best use of time.
Well, if I can't find the best moves, at least I can find the most aggressive moves, right? We'll try to find the best moves. But yeah, they're threatening to promote over here, or maybe even not promote. Um... Oh, that's a fork. Gofun. Yeah, it looks spooky. They could drop a pawn on this file to stop my rook, I guess. Um, but yeah, I can continue mounting an attack somehow, somewhere. I don't know whether taking the lance or trying to pin this gold would be more reasonable. Try to give them things to think about. Maybe I should have taken the lance instead, though. I don't know. Yeah, I should have taken the lance. Well, what's interesting here is that the gold could move over, but not up. If the gold moves up, I have a fork. Although well, the fork might not work. It looks spooky. Might not be as spooky as it looks. Hmm. I don't care for it anymore, actually. Why would I want to help them activate their bishop? 
I'm trying to prevent this bishop from using either of these squares, I guess. This seems to be a straightforward answer to what my opponent just did. If there's a fault in it, we'll know very soon. But I think this wins a general. And um, makes my king much more solid. Ippun.
30秒20秒Thanks for the game. I feel somewhat bad about that because uh, they had a chance at the end for sure. Uh, they, I walked right into a mate. Should not have done that. But um, yeah, we'll practice more. We'll learn better, and hopefully we'll do better next time. Hope we've enjoyed. Thanks for watching.